Biosolve is seven times stronger than acetone in its ability to clean resin or paint or the gel coat out of your guns this will take it off almost instantly it's made from corn it's ethyl lactate it's ethanol okay. it's a derivative of it it's very very strong it's not carcinogen it's not a hazmat it doesn't put out any hazard air pollutants it's fairly safe to work with this stuff but it has an odor to it uh, some people don't mind it, some people do, but it's strong. And it doesn't evaporate. It has a low vapor pressure. So where you would put a whole bunch of acetone on a rag and wipe a surface down with it, you just put a couple drops of this, it'll stay in the rag for about two hours, yeah. hour or so. It'll be really effective. Your rag will load up with dirt long before this stuff flashes out of it. But on the surface, when you wipe a surface with it, You'll see a little bit, it'll look like there's some left over, but 20, 40 seconds later, it'll evaporate off the surface. But you can put this into a, a bucket and clean your brushes and that kind of stuff with it. And that bucket, I think I have a quart bucket now that's in my garage I put in to clean all my brushes with. And that, that bucket, that quart bucket's been there for about eight months, and I haven't had to add any more to it. It's still oh, in there. Yeah. So it's pretty powerful material. Um, it's really a lot safer to be working with. Uh, it's, we have the EPA logo on it. We're the only ones that have the EPA logo on a, a solvent replacement, acetone replacement. This is good stuff to work with. Be careful, this is a sample bottle. So these tops are designed. Um, this will actually, this might leak down the side. Don't leave this on a surface that you don't want yeah. the wax or the finish to come off of because it will take it off, okay? Uh, you can smell it. Do you smell that? It's not that bad. It's yeah, nice well, I you're a painter. Yeah, it's not that <laughs> strong, though, really. It's not. Um, but this will uh, take wax off the boat. It will take scum lines off of a boat. Uh, if you mix it 50-50 with water and you scrub the non-skid, where you see non-skid that have like mold and mildew in the non-skid, you can't get it out, that'll take that and out. Even like the excess wax, I noticed. Yeah, it'll take that wax off, out, just yeah. like that. Um, and, it, and if you had a, if we had a Sharpie, I could write a Sharpie on here. There's a spot over there if you want to try and do it. Yeah, all right. So do you have a rag? Any rag, dirty rag's fine. What is that spot? It's some kind of adhesive. It looks like it's tape, like tape residue. But this is an excellent adhesive remover. I mean, I, I've been shocked. We've take, if you ever need to take graphics off of something, it's really good at taking graphics off. But it'll take that adhesive like off the of there instantly. From the decals and all yeah, it'll take it right off. Any adhesives, clay, it just takes it right off. I mean, it's good stuff. Yeah. So there are other companies that make adhesive removers that have toluene and acetone and lacquer thinner in them, and we don't do that. This is a lot safer. Now, that same material is going to be in there all day. Okay. It'll stay in there for an hour. We can continue to clean surfaces with it. But it, remember, when we clean this, it's going to take the wax off of there as well. That smells better than acetone. Doesn't burn your nose, I guess. Well, I try not to smell a lot of acetone. So. <laughs> well, All right, it, guys. It does. It's, <laughs> it's acetone's a, more. It'll clean your paint guns out really well. It, they won't dry fire later on. And there are some other brands of stuff on the market like this, mm -hmm. and they're 50% water. And if you clean your paint guns or your tools with them, they'll they'll flash rust. Okay. So this won't cause that to happen. And you can recycle this. So when you clean your paint gun out or any of your tools out with it, put it through a um, a water polypropylene water filter that you can buy from Home Depot. Mm -hmm. And this stuff will go through it. It'll take all the particulates out, and you can reuse it over and over and over okay. again. It's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, it is. And then it's not hazardous. Uh, it's 100% biodegradable. So, you know, if it goes into the, the land or on the ground, water neutralizes it, turns it into lactic acid, and it's safe. It won't hurt the environment. So, that's biosol.